hello welcome to special data hub in this video i will show you how to convert your coordinates from degrees minutes and seconds to decimal degrees so here i have a list of four coordinates the first thing i will do will be to split these coordinates into multiple columns according to degrees minutes and seconds here so first Check through your list of coordinates to ensure that they are all in the same pattern so that some are not single digits and others double digits as this would cause variation when splitting. For example, you see this, if I identify a coordinate like this last one that has a single digit in the minutes column, I'll double click and add a zero. It doesn't change anything, but it changes the pattern. That will be it. Then I'll highlight the list of coordinates which I want to work on. Click on data. Text to columns. Instead of delimited, I'll set it to fixed width. Click on next. In this next window, I'll, I'll use the brick line feature to Partition the degrees, the minutes, and the seconds along with the symbols into different columns. So you can read the text above to understand how to use the brick line feature. After this, I'll click on finish. Here you have it. So now I have my degrees, I have my minutes, I have my seconds. The next thing we'll do is to write an Excel formula. Oh, sorry about that. I'm using the Excel for this, for this practice. Write an Excel formula. To write an Excel formula, we start with equal to sum. When you bring suggestions here, you double click. Select the column for the degree. Add it to the column for the minutes divided by 60. 60 minutes of course add that to the column for the seconds divided by 3600 when you're done with that just click on enter and that's all i'll show you something else in this video so just stick around drag this down up to the end and you're good with this so here is something else that could occur that you could have a problem with. In this case, I have a list of latitudes and longitudes on the same column, and I would like to split it into separate columns. Here is separated by comma, sometimes to be separated by space. I'll show you how to do both of them. Still under data, text columns, let it to be delimited, delimited, and We'll set it to comma if it's just a space we can set it to tab but here we'll just leave that comma and say finish here you have it in some other cases you would have it in degrees but you have the degree symbol you do not need to delete each cell individually don't do that simply check here write the formula equal to left Double click, select the column of interest, comma, count the number of characters, including the decimal place. In this case, mine is eight. Click on enter. As you see, it produces the, the coordinate without the degree symbol. Drag this across the number of columns, number of cells which you want. So in any case, if you have a list of coordinates that have less than eight characters you can always adjust that to sit in it that'll be it for this video just let me know if you have any questions or troubles implementing this in the comment section or you can reach out to me using the links in the about section of this channel